Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a channel, so I'm part of a Facebook book. I'm part of a Facebook group. <laughs> I've only had one cup of coffee and no alcohol, okay? This is natural. This is natural. All right, so anyways, I'm part of a Facebook group. I'll explain it a little bit as I'm getting ready so I won't be redundant because sometimes I am redundant. But anyways, uh, we are trying to recreate this eye look. And you know, I've never really posted what I do when I'm recreating someone else's eye look. And this is at Pink Perception. So I'm assuming that this is someone on Instagram at Pink Percep Perception, P-I-N-K-P-E-R-C-E-P-T-I-O-N. Just in case you couldn't understand my accent. So anyways, our Facebook group likes to pick um, eye looks and then try to recreate them. So that's what I did today with this beauty. So you're gonna see how I attempted this. If I had to do it all over again, I probably would not have used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Renaissance palette because of the fallout. I was getting irritated with that. I would have used my Makeup Geek. And to be honest with you, my channel normally has a lot of me testing products. But when it comes down to recreating a look or if I want my makeup to be flawless, I use my Makeup Geek palettes. And I've got several, I've, I've basically color coordinated all of my Makeup Geek palettes and Z palettes. Um, I think I have just about every product she's put out because they're just amazing and I know I'm gonna get a great eye look. So that in itself, I wish that I would not have grabbed the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I wish I would have grabbed my Makeup Geek eye colors because they just do better for me. So anyways, if you wanna see how I try to create recreate that picture, you know what to do. Stay tuned. All right, so today I am going to try to recreate a look and I'm part of a, a little YouTube group that we used to do uh, competition not competitions we used to like throw out a picture and it could just be say a colorful drawing like a painting and then you'd have to interpret that with eye makeup or we would do like a picture like this and say recreate this look so we had done that for like a long time last year or the year before I think it was the year before we took off last year and um, we're starting it up again. So today I'm gonna try to recreate this look. Little nervous, little nervous. I was gonna try to use a new palette, but I don't know that it's necessarily as vibrant as I want. I think I am just gonna go ahead and grab the Modern Renaissance palette because I think for the most part, those colors are in here. And so I'm gonna try this look with the exception of the gold, and I have another palette that I can pick up the gold from. So bear with me, because I don't do really good with this type of eye, where you have, I forget what it's called, kind of like an ombre, no, not an ombre, um, where they have the dark on the inside, dark on the outside. Like, I suck at this eye. Almost as bad, no worse, than my wings and y'all know i can't do a wing look to save my life although it doesn't stop me from trying i just keep going right back in so i'm going to go ahead and tape down my eyes because i do have issues with this palette <clears throat> getting everywhere so let's see let's see how bad i do with this one all right so i'm going to start out with the color tempura basically up underneath my brow bone and the inside of my eye. Next, I think I will go with the color Golden Ochre for my base or my canvas. And I want to say thank you, Teresa, for picking up our first challenge. I really am thankful for that. I'm excited to see what the other ladies choose for our challenges because this is always fun. 
Okay, so that part of the eye look was easy. Woohoo! <laughs> now comes the hottest stuff. I don't know why it's so hard for me to do one of these eyes. It just is. It just is. All right, I think I'm going to, hmm. So we're supposed to put a little bit dark here and a little bit dark there, and then maybe a little bit of a bridge. Oh, she's killing me with a hard eye look from the get-go for me. Not that it's all about me, because it's not. All right, this is already not starting out looking like the picture. And my tape is wiggling. All right, so now let's see. So it looks like they kind of have it off at an angle here. And a little bit of a bridge. <sighs> challenges. They're called challenges for a reason, right? Because they're not easy. All right, let's soften that. Back up my little brush. Sorry, it looks like a damn hot mess to me. But, ugh. like I said, you just keep going. Even if it feels like a hot mess you don't know what you're going to end up with and you could end up with something very beautiful i'm doubtful at the rate i'm going and i probably if i was going to try this over again i should have just grabbed my makeup geek colors because they don't they're not they don't go everywhere like the anastasia beverly hills it's just these colors were automatically in the pan so all right enough enough excuses right so i think i want to pick up the color burnt orange yeah mine's not exactly turning out like this I'm going to go ahead and layer. So I'm going to go start with the Venetian red. So we're going to try layers because onions have layers. Cakes have layers. Let's try layers. Then we're going to pick up the color love letter. Yeah, this is looking nothing like the picture. We're just gonna keep going. Keep going, people. We're not quitters. Quitters never win. Winners never quit. And look at that fallout. See, this is why I hate Anastasia's stuff. It drives me nuts that even though I, you guys could hear me tapping. I was tapping my brush. Yet, this is what I ended up with. Okay, okay. All right, so it looks like we got some black or that brownish black color underneath. And then I'm missing the gold on the inside. We're in the final bit, final bit. We can do this. We can do this, even if it doesn't look good. Rob was giving me hell about this little area the other day. He said, for as nice as your makeup looks, by the time you get finished, he says, this little area is a wreck. And I said, well, I know where everything is. You just don't worry about it. He goes, well, maybe your subscribers want to see what kind of a wreck it is. And I said, no, they don't. He was just trying to rain on my parade. And as I told him, in my defense, I don't have my little room. I don't have it organized. So everything... Looks a little crazy. And then he w he did remind me that even when my room was put together, I was still 
had stuff everywhere. <laughs> he was right. I didn't tell him he was right. But after today, I will start being able to put back up my room and that'll be fun. It, I will be able to be a little bit more organized. I have boxes on the dining room table full of palettes and makeup. I have boxes all over this massive, I've got a huge uh, table in here for the living room. It's covered. I've got boxes in my background that you guys can see, which absolutely drives me insane. So yeah, mm -hmm. at least it'll all be in one spot. I have boxes in the bathroom. All right, so this is where we're at. So this is again where I'm going. This is again where I'm going. So just giving a little update. So anyways, um, yeah, I think it's just gonna be nice to be in one basic spot instead of, you know, having my clutter in one spot instead of everywhere, because this really is annoying. And at this point, Rob's still enjoying, we call it semi-retired. He's still working on getting everything settled for us and he cleans and we bought an older house. So, you know, there's all kinds of things that don't work or is broken. So he has been my handyman here. Every day he works on something, which is nice. He will be 50 this year in June. I've never been with a 50 year old before ladies. So I'll be with the oldest man I've ever been with. <laughs> All joking aside, we're gonna have a little party for him. And his dad's side of the family is coming in, so it's like a little mini reunion. So we got plenty of time. On the surface, we have plenty of time. But you know how it goes, time flies. And they, most likely we will not have everything done we wanted to before his family gets here. But I absolutely love his dad's side of the family. They are so much fun. And I can be me, which is not always, say, most politically correct, shall we say. And they don't get offended and have hurt feelings. Which is real exciting for me. I like being around people I can just laugh with and not have to worry. And nothing against people that have feelings. I just don't have a lot of them. I have two, two, most days one, some days two. All right, so, oh, the gold, I forgot the gold. Which palette was that in? Okay, the gold was in the Huda palette, 24 karat gold. So I'm gonna pick up, I think this is technically a lip brush. When I want a lip brush, I can't find them. But I like using lip brushes for eyeshadows. Come on, 24K. Might have to use some setting spray on this bad boy, which you know irritates me because I say it every time this happens. I don't like using sprays. I want stuff to perform like it looks. Okay, so I got the gold on the inside of the eye. So now basically what I'm gonna do is finish up um, my mascara, false lashes, and I'm gonna dry my hair, and then we'll come back and do a comparison to see where I'm at as far as the look goes. I hate that I should have not put on my foundation ahead of time. I know better on these palettes that leak, or not leak, um, I have too much fallout, but does that stop me? No. It doesn't, and I think that's because I can't stand how my face looks when I'm doing my eyes, and therefore I feel like I've got to get my eyes calm or my face red calm down so that I'll look semi-decent as I'm putting on my face look. So anyways, blah, 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 Ginger. Um, probably still need to blend. Anyways, thank you so much back. for joining me today and watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. 
or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.